Hey guys, how you doing? This is uh, Daniel with the Oculus Cloud, and I'm going to show you guys some uh, little cool tips on how to record using the Boss GT10 uh, guitar effects pedal. Um, so the first thing I do is I go to uh, System, right? And then I'm going to go all the way down to the USB menu. And what I did was I disabled or I turned off the direct monitor. Um, also, you want the driver mode to be advanced, as you can see. But I turned off the direct monitor because what happens is when you have direct monitor on, it's essentially uh, like normal mode when you use a pedal. You know, the, the input is your guitar, the output goes to the speakers. And so what I found was a lot of times um, with this, the output, direct out, uh, kind of gets in the way because you're you're not hearing you're not hearing what your computer is hearing or picking up or recording you're hearing basically the direct out so I disable that so that base so you're only going to hear uh, what's base what's coming or going into your computer so the next thing I did was I go to input and output and on here, and then I scroll back until you get to the third uh, tab, and that's where you'll see USB direct out level. That's what's going into your computer. And so I have it at 80, but that's because of the effects, the distortion and such that I'm using to kind of keep it so it's not peaking. Uh, you probably want it at 100, and then you try to like manage the levels in your DAW. Um, and then of course you have the USB mix level. I'll just leave that at hundred But a uh, cool thing is on here if you want to be able to if you if it feels like even though you're getting a fat Recording and by fat I mean like you know the the wave file or the wavelength is Very is wide, but it doesn't seem very loud You can go in here and a lot of that has to do with the USB mix level and then also the output level um, you can turn up or turn down the output level and the cool thing is it doesn't affect your overall level in your DAW and uh, for that I'm actually using Reaper and I have a dedicated track for the Boss GTR or the guitar uh, effects pedal and I also have a uh, compressor on it to keep it um, from peaking a lot of people when they record they like to uh, have their levels stay at around or not go beyond neg uh, negative six or so. And so, uh, or even negative 18, it, you know, preference, it's up to you. Um, however, negative six is good. You just don't want it in red. And uh, yeah, so no peaking and uh, yeah. So, and then when you're recording, what you want to do is you want to go for a good fat looking wavelength. And, you know, you don't want it peaking, of course, but you want a good fat wavelength. That That's going to be the best um, sound, tone, and everything that you're going for. Uh, you know, a lot of times, especially when I would start recording, I'd get a have a little skinny one. And it might sound fine to your ears, but it's the best ones are well fat that just i don't know why it just sounds dirty but anyway so yeah there you go no skinny ones <laughs> all right so yeah uh, hopefully i'll have some uh, other cool tips and hopefully this will help you if you're having issues with recording um but this definitely helped me get it to where i could record and be able to record where my output was sounding uh the same as uh you know going into the computer and recording basically where the recording was sound the same as what i was hearing out on the speakers all right cool